sorry, mate. So I decided that I was going to challenge myself to do a three hour walk to the beach. Now, I didn't know how this was going to turn out. I knew that it got hot. Um, I knew it was a long walk. <laughs> so it's next to like a motorway, which made me think there might not actually be places where pedestrians can walk. Wait to the end, see if I actually make it, and see what you think about my adventure. And so you can see, it's around 7am, getting up nice and early. For some reason I thought I could blow my breakfast from a mile away to cool it down. What am I doing? <laughs> Obviously, it's a bit weird filming yourself eating breakfast. I got some porridge. You know, for the, uh, the way there. And here we go, about half seven, maybe eight, I just set off. Lovely sun, um, just to start the day. It starts to get less and less uh, urbanized, and you just start to feel that sun. But I was looking for snakes here the whole time. I was like, oh my god, there could be snakes anywhere. And then I made it to the road. There's a kitty! A uh, bit of action, do you know what I mean? This is Casada, one of the main starting points. And so this is where the 30 minutes into the trip began before the big haul long walk. Just trying to find my way to the road. <laughs> Big scary doggy. And this is where it really began. This is where the long haul walk began. Obviously, you know, it's still early. I'm fine. I'm feeling chipper. Um, and I'm just wandering down the road. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. Yeah, and so here we are. Still trying to get on the main road uh, where I should be. Oh, epic adventure awaits. How will I cross this ravine? <laughs> yes, bit of an action shot. They did have this uh, food stand on the way, which was really cool. Obviously, you can get uh, a bit of fruit, you know what I mean, pull over. And so the walk began. It's just about, can I do it? Can I do three hours walking? On the left there, there looked to be like a little town that looked really nice. Uh, quite posh, but at the same time, we was on a mission. We didn't have time for no stoppings. We're, we're walking to the beach, you know what I mean? And here we have lemon trees. Look at all the lemon waste, mate. I couldn't believe it. It was at this time I started to get hot. My knee started to hurt. Right? What a lovely little image. Whoa, whoa, what are you, what are you doing? Cycle bastards. They kept coming too close as well. Like, give me room, lad. Honestly, grow up. So here I was walking down the cycle lane again. Honestly, it took forever. Now, we'd made our way. We was about halfway there at this point. Quite exciting. Um, and we found our first bit of respite by this lovely uh, pirate-esque, uh, statue-esque thing here. We'd made like a good one hour and a half progress here. It was serious. So I took five minutes. I'd never had my knee hurt the way it did. And I was just like committed at this point. Bit of a problem. My path has ended. Huh. So, uh, huh. Huh. never mind, still got the Christmas shop, shit.
All right. So we're officially two and a half hours in to our walk. Uh, it's getting grueling. <laughs> uh, 40 minutes to go around that. So we've made good distance, I guess. Three and a half, well, it's going to be three and a half, three, minutes, three hours, ten minutes. Oh, um, into a city now. Get in there anyway. I don't know if it's Torre Vieja or the other one. But we're nearly there. Uh, 40 minutes to go. My knee is hurting. Like, <laughs> I've never had it done do that before. But we're just going to keep pressing on. And uh, can't wait for it, honestly. Can't wait for the beach. And yeah, this was where I was getting a bit excited because obviously we're nearly there. Way! Um, two, three hours in. And the only thing I could think of right now was victory. <laughs> that was the only thing on my mind. <laughs> keep walking down the street. You know, just making my way there to the beach. It just felt like an eternity. And here we are. You can see the progress that's been made. Whoa! And it was getting hot. We're talking about 29, 30. Now, at this point, I had my vest on. I had my shirt off. I was sweating buckets. You can probably see where my hair was too short. Um, I was dripping at this point. But we must make do. My shoulder was ripped to bits by my bag because I was carrying loads of stuff as well, like camera equipment and stuff. Um, yeah, it was... At this point, I'd had enough team. <laughs> I just wanted to go home. <laughs> and then I could see it. The cool wind from the coast. The boats. The harbour. I knew we was close. <laughs> oh my god, can it be? After three hours! Yes! Three hours. Three hours. <laughs> oh and so, after three hours of walking to the beach, the bar was closed. And as I sat there, looking at the ocean, thinking of the adventure I'd been on, three hours of jumping over ravines, walking without a footpath, Sweating an unnatural amount, I looked to the ocean and I thought to myself, I really need to get a car. <laughs>